everyone, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another video for you guys and today we are doing a bridal glam. So I want to show you guys my bridal look. I recently got married and I want to show you guys the hair and makeup. So if you want to see how this look is achieved, then please keep on watching. All right, so let's get into this tutorial. So Anita is going to show you how she achieved the Hollywood glam curls. Um, she is a professional hairstylist. She did my hair for my wedding and also all my bridesmaids hair We actually tried to do a intro for you guys But it didn't really work out because my microphone is so awful. So I apologize for that I'll also put all her info in the description bar down below so you guys can go ahead and check her out Now the hair that I'm using it's from West Kiss and I'll also put their info in the description bar down below I made the wig off camera because you guys have seen me made wigs before and if you are new to my channel I'll just put my wig making video in the description bar down below so let's get on with the hair tutorial so I will be explaining everything that Anita is doing to my hair she's using a one inch curling iron it's actually a no-name brand and then as for the hairspray she's using the Fantasia hairspray and the Tresemme so she's gonna apply it to my hair first so take small sections of hair and then she's gonna go in with her curling iron and as you can see she's actually using it as a curling wand so she's gonna wrap my hair all the way around and she's actually curling it under and then she's holding the curls and then go in with a pin so she's gonna be doing some pin curls first to prep the hair so repeat the same thing just grab small sections of hair you guys I'm actually obsessed with this hairstyle I don't know how to do it myself but I will definitely practice it I would not be able to do this on my own head I would have to do this on my mannequin head if I was gonna do this to any of my wigs and you guys before I decided on this hairstyle I actually did a few bridal trials I think I had like three different bridal trials and I decided to go with this hairstyle because I freaking love these curls so much. Now I know I did not want my curls to be super tight. However, on my wedding day, she did use a lot more hairspray and the curls were a little bit tighter because I had the curlers in for a much longer time. However, this is just a makeup tutorial, hair tutorial video. So we're gonna be taking out the curls a little bit faster. So she actually let it sit for like not very long so as soon as she curled it she took them out on my actual wedding day i think we had the rollers in for about three hours and then i moved on to getting my makeup done so right now she's just taking out the curls and she's just going to go in with her comb and this is how she's going to create these nice hollywood glam curls and go in with the hairspray again for my actual wedding day i use a lot more hairspray and my hair was a little bit more bigger as well because i had probably like four bundles of hair. I wanted my hair to be more voluminous, but this is just a tutorial. I just want to show you guys how we achieve this hairstyle. So you guys, the first time I did a trial was with the same exact hairstyle, but I had another hairstylist that I did my trial with, and I actually did my trial with no makeup on, and I actually did not like it as much. And the reason why is because the hair was so glamorous and I'm not used to seeing my hair super glamorous, if that makes any sense. Like you guys are used to seeing me change my hairstyle, but a thing that you guys don't really know about me, I don't like when my hair looks too perfect and too curled. So it threw me off a little bit because I had no makeup on. So if you're gonna get a bridal trial done, if you're like me, anything like me, you might wanna do your makeup first. So when I had my trial with Anita, I had a full beat on and then she did my hair and I was like, oh yes, honey, okay, like I'm here for this hairstyle. So yeah, she's just finishing up my hair and she added more hairspray and we're gonna go ahead and put in my hair clip. So the hair clip that I got is from Bridal Style Boutique. I will link everything in the description bar down below. So Anita is just gonna place it in my hair at the side and put some bobby pins to keep it in place. So yeah, on my actual wedding day, like I said before, I kept the curlers in my hair and then got my makeup done. But this is just a tutorial, so we have to do it like this and Anita has to go so she can't stay with me the entire time. All right, so we are gonna move on to makeup and I'm starting off with my brows. So for my actual wedding day, I did not do my own makeup. My closest and dearest friend, Aiden, did my makeup for me and he did such a beautiful job. So I'm gonna be recreating this look for you guys and I'm gonna show you all the products that he used on my face well not all because I don't have everything he used but as for my brows I'm using my favorite brow pencil this is the benefit my precisely brow pencil in the shade number four so I always start off with my brows first and that's exactly how Aiden did it he started off with my brows first 
All right, so I'm gonna go in with this Color Brain brush. I believe this is their shadow brush, but I absolutely love this brush for carving out my brows. So I'm just gonna go ahead and carve out my brows using the Too Faced Concealer. Everything that I use, I will list in the description bar down below. And then I'm gonna go in with my Zoeva brush just to blend the concealer out. The concealer is just gonna act as a highlight and highlight my brow bone, and it's also gonna act as a base for my eyeshadow as well. Next, I'm gonna go in with some translucent powder. You can use any, and I'm just gonna go ahead and set and lock that concealer into place. That way my concealer is not creasing up on me. And you guys, my brows are a little bit raggedy, okay? Because I actually haven't done my brows in like over two months. The last time I got my brows done was a week before the wedding. So yeah, they're looking a little raggedy. Moving right along, I'm gonna take the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts eyeshadow palette, and this is the same eyeshadow palette I used on my wedding day as well. I'm gonna grab the eyeshadow Royal Prerogative, which is like a nice warm tone brown. It's great transition shade, and I'm just going to pop that into my crease using this big fluffy blending brush. This brush is from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill collection. It's actually one of my favorite brushes to use in my crease. Super big, it's very fluffy, and it gets the job done really fast. So I'm I'm just popping that in my crease and going a windshield wiper motion now for my eye look I wanted to keep it neutral glam okay I didn't want anything too crazy on my eyes I didn't want anything too dramatic on my eyes um, I originally wanted my entire eye look to be matte but Aiden convinced me to add a bit of shimmer to it now I'm gonna go back into the palette and I'm gonna grab the eyeshadow Duchess which is like a dark deeper shade brown and I'm just gonna apply this at the outer corner the brush that I'm using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush it comes with all her palettes I really like this brush and I'm gonna go in with my Mac 224 brush it's old it's raggedy I've had it for gosh I don't even know how long and I'm gonna pop that same eyeshadow into the crease and just blend I want the crease to be a little bit more on the defined side this brush does not work as well as it used to because it's so old and raggedy I'm gonna have to switch back over to my Anastasia brush now, as for my lid color, he did like a light gold champagne shade. However, it's not in this palette. It was a single eyeshadow from Colored Rain, but I don't have that shadow. So I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. And I think this eyeshadow is called Glistening. And I'm gonna pop that onto my eyelid. Now, I don't want it to look super pigmented. So I'm applying the eyeshadow on my lid and I'm blending it out. If you wet the brush, the eyeshadow will look a lot more pigmented, but that's not what I wanted for my lid color. So if you're doing your makeup yourself on your wedding day, I do recommend doing the look first that you have in mind before the actual wedding day. And if you are hiring a makeup artist, do a makeup trial. I didn't care to do one, but my friend Aiden, he insists on us doing a trial. So we actually end up doing two and he did a really good job. So everything was good to go. Now this next step is optional. I'm a wing liner girl, so I was gonna have wing liner at my wedding. <laughs> so yeah, I use the NYX Matte Black Liquid Liner. It's my go-to, it's my ride or die, it's my babe. And I'm so sorry you guys, I couldn't do this on camera because the struggle was real. I had to step off camera to do it because I need to be up close in the mirror when I do my liner. As for mascara, if you're a crybaby, go ahead and wear some waterproof mascara. I don't have any waterproof mascara, so I'm just gonna use what I have. And then we are gonna move on to lashes. I'm gonna be using the Batty B lashes today, and I believe these ones are extra. These aren't the lashes I wore on my wedding day. The lashes I wore were by Color Drain. I don't have the lashes, so I have to use what I have. And all my lashes that I have are like super dramatic. The lashes I wore on my wedding, they weren't super dramatic. They were a little bit dramatic because, you know, I like a little bit of drama. Now we're going to move on to skin. I forgot to show you guys this part, but I'm showing it to you now. So I'm using my favorite moisturizer. This is the Nivea Cream. This is my ride or die. So I actually applied it on my skin first before I started doing my eyes. Moisturizer is key. Make sure your skin is well moisturized. Now we're gonna go on to primer. I'm using one of my favorite primers. This is the Milk Hydro Primer. It's going to keep my makeup on all day, keep it in place. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it all over my face. So this next step is optional. Aiden used two primers on my face. He used a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer as well. It's gonna help to smooth and blur out the skin. So anywhere you have any kind of rough patches, you can apply it there. So I'm gonna apply it right by my nose area, on my cheek, my forehead to smooth it out. So this next step is also optional. I don't do my makeup without color correcting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and color correct my under eyes because I do have a bit of darkness there. And I apply it right by my lip as well because I also have a little bit of 
darkness and I'm just gonna go ahead and just blend that out with my brush and you guys the concealer that I'm using it's from Mac but I'm not sure if they discontinued it but this is the one I've been using for a very long time now this foundation is by Lancome this is the actual foundation I wore on my wedding day however I cannot wear this foundation anymore um, my skin has changed it's super super dry so this foundation looks super dry on my skin on my wedding day it looked really nice and glowy but right now it's just not doing it at all so I will be using the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. It's absolutely amazing for dry skin. My skin is dry as a desert and this foundation adds glow, it gives me coverage and it's very nourishing. I rock this foundation all through summer you guys and she was not budging. Like my makeup does not budge okay and I get so much compliments when I wear this foundation it looks really really flawless so it does oxidize however but I'm using the shade NC 44 if I use it NC 45 it would look literally orange so that's why I stick with the NC 44 now I'm gonna go in with my ride or die my baby this is the Too Faced concealer it is my favorite it's nice and hydrating and it leaves my under eyes not looking dry so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this under my eyes and I use this to highlight however it is similar to my skin tone this is the shade warm sand so I'm applying it under my eyes on my chin down my nose on my forehead area any area that I want to highlight and we're gonna take a little dance break because this is a lot of work okay makeup is a lot of work I'm just kidding um, so now I'm gonna go in with my damp beauty blender sponge and just blend that concealer in it literally blends like butter I freaking love it and a lot of you guys ask me why didn't I do my own makeup for my actual wedding day guys weddings are beautiful but they can be very stressful and I just wanted to get glammed up I wanted to be relaxed and get glammed up so I know I was in great hands so I trusted my friend with my face and he did a beautiful job now I'm gonna take a foundation that is a few shades darker than my skin tone this is the Mac studio fix fluid in the shade NC 50 and I'm gonna go ahead and contour so I'm applying it in the hollows of my cheek down my jawline and yes we are going to snatch that nose the brush that I'm using is by BH cosmetics as well this foundation is absolutely amazing if you have oily skin it's a matte coverage it used to be one of my ride or die foundation but the way my dry skin is set up honey I cannot use this anymore okay anyways I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out that foundation make sure your beauty blender sponge is nice and damp not soaking wet but nice and damp so yes blend out all those harsh line girls get rid of all those lines guys I forgot to mention that the frontal that I'm wearing it's actually from my vendor so it's a HD lace frontal that's what I wore on my wedding day so the hair bundles I wore in this video is from West Kiss but the frontal is mine from my hairline that's coming soon Moving on to powder, I'm gonna use the Ket Cosmetics. This is their translucent powder, or I believe it's colorless powder. So it's like a white translucent powder. It doesn't give you any flashback. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pat that under my eyes to set my under eyes. And then I'm gonna go in with my MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC42 and just apply that on top of the Ket powder. This is what the makeup artist did. And I really like how flawless it looked. It did not look cakey. Everything was set in place and I actually stick to this makeup routine to this day for so now I'm gonna go in with a bronzer to do powder contour as well to set and lock that contour into place I'm using Fenty Beauty Beijing gal this is not the powder contour he used he actually used a different product but I don't have it then I'm gonna go in with my matte mineralized skin finish bronzer absolutely my favorite in dark deep and I'm just gonna apply it on my cheeks and along my forehead to bronze up the skin now I'll be taking the Huda Beauty powder. This is a powder in Blondie. And I'm just gonna go ahead and carve out my cheeks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up my contour. And you guys, I did not bake my face at all. I cannot bake my face. My skin is way too dry for that. And I did not want a lot of powder on my face as well. My makeup held up the entire night. We just had to do a little touch-ups here and there with powder and that was pretty much it. So you guys, I'm a blush girl and I cannot do my makeup and not add blush. So I'm gonna use Peaches by MAC, it's one of my favorite. I also wore this one on my wedding day. Pretty much everything I'm showing you guys as the products that I use. And I'm just gonna apply this on the apples of my cheek with the Zoeva brush. Now we're gonna go ahead and highlight the highest point of the cheekbone and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy highlighter. And I'm also gonna apply that to the tip of my nose and I also popped it at the inner corner of my eyes because I wouldn't be me without some inner corner highlight, okay? 
Okay, so now I have to go ahead and complete the eyes. I'm gonna fill in my brows first. So I'm gonna go back in with that brow pencil. Lord, I'm sorry, my brows are a little raggedy. I need to get my brows done. So yeah, I just went ahead, filled them in really quickly, and then I'm gonna go back into that palette, and I'm gonna grab the two brown shades, and I'm just going to place this on the bottom lash line. So I don't want my bottom lash line to be smoky, like too smoky or too dramatic and heavy. So I'm taking the It's My Ray Ray BH Cosmetics pencil brush and I'm just running along the bottom lash line. And as for my waterline, this is optional. You can use any eye pencil you want. I went for a dark brown eye pencil. This one I'm using, it's by KKW. And I'm just gonna line the waterline. And then I'm gonna add some mascara to the bottom lashes. Again, if this is your big day and you require, use waterproof mascara. Now we're gonna move on to lips. I'm gonna use my favorite lip pencil. This is my ride or die. This is matte cork lip pencil. I'm gonna go ahead and align my lips. And then for my lipstick, I didn't have the exact lipsticks that was used on my lip that day because Aiden used a lip palette. I believe it was a Bobbi Brown lip palette. So I'm just gonna use a MAC Peach Stock lipstick and apply it all over my lips. And then for my gloss, I use Fussy by Fenty Beauty. So moving on, I'm gonna take MAC Fix Lip Spray and I'm just gonna apply this all over my skin. This is not a setting spray. It's just gonna make your makeup look a little bit more on the dewy side. It's gonna get rid of anything that looks powdery, dry, and cakey, and yes, get that fan girl now you guys this makeup setting spray will lock you in all day all night your makeup is not going anywhere this is the blue marble spray I'm just gonna apply it all over my face I don't use too much because it can leave your face feeling dry and tight I'm telling you this stuff is really powerful like my makeup was sitting all night long and to finish it off I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills shimmer body oil I applied this on my skin because I knew my chest area would be exposed my arm and I wanted my skin to look nice and glowy in pictures and in real life <laughs> so yeah this is pretty much the completed look I really hope you guys enjoy this video comment down below let me know what you guys want to see next and thank you guys so much for watching I hope this video was very helpful to you guys and thank you for supporting my channel as well. Love you guys. Bye.